Hey beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So to celebrate the beginning of the summer, today I am creating a sweat-proof makeup look. Easy for you to recreate at home. So my skincare routine is done. I haven't applied too much. I just made sure that my skin is well hydrated, but not too many product and no oil. I have my sunscreen and now I'm going to come first with my primer. I'm going to use a mattifying primer. This is from Gucci. It's the Serum de Beauté. It's the Silk Priming Serum. So I'm going to use two pumps. So it's quite thick, um, but once you apply it on your skin, it will literally just melt and disappear. And it smells gorgeous such a nice and fresh smell this is not new um this is from last summer and i have been using it a lot because i really really like how it feels on the skin and i'm just pressing it into my skin Obviously, if you want your makeup to last long when it's really hot and humid outside, or if you're sweating a lot, you can't be using products that are too dewy because it's not going to hold on your skin. So you need products that are more mattifying and you're gonna have to use powders. Now I'm coming in with my foundation. So from the same collection, this is Gucci as well. It is the 24 hour wear breathable foundation with a luminous matte finish. So it's quite a long wear foundation. Um, I really, really like it. I've been using this for over a year now. I am wearing shade medium fair 265 cool. So it's a bit of a rosy undertone into it. And I'm applying it with my beauty blender because I really want to press it into my skin. So I'm going to start with one pump. It is fairly liquid. So I'm going to use probably two pumps because I'm applying it with the beauty blender. It does take more product when you apply it with your beauty blender. And make sure you really press it nicely onto your skin. So you can see the difference. So it's not completely full coverage. You still, you still see some freckles, but it's giving you, you can build it to have a full, full, full coverage as well. For today, for my concealer, I'm using the Lancome All Over Concealer. This is the Teint Idolatre Ultra Wear. Um, this is a multitasking concealer. So you could use this all over your face, depending on the shade you're using, or you could mix two of them to have two different shades. Um, this is shade 250 or 025, depending where you are in the world. Um, it's a buildable coverage. It's correcting. Um, and it's, yeah, as I said, it's a multitasking concealer. So the wand is quite big, which is quite nice if you're using it into other areas and not just under your eyes. So I'm going to apply it in those places just to bring some luminosity. With a bigger fluffy brush, this is a Pro Concealer brush. I'm just gonna tap it gently all over where I have the concealer. So just like so. So it's bringing luminosity, but it's not too, too light. So you see a full line. I really like the consistency of this, um, the formula of this concealer. It's not too liquid, um, but it's not equally too thick and not drying. It just really blends nicely on the skin. Um, no matter what the foundation you have underneath. So we have some areas where we have highlighted and voila, it looks pretty good. It's giving that really nice complexion. 
Now I'm coming with my cream bronzer. This is from Chanel. This is Le Beige Collection. Uh, I am using, um, so this is the Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream and I am using shade 390 Soleil Tan Bronze. I have my small brush here. I'm just gonna come into it, have a few swirls. I'm just gonna place it quite high on the cheeks. And it's just giving a really nice natural finish. Like so, same thing onto the other side. So I have a darker color, but I feel like my complexion is not quite tan enough uh, to be using the darker color, the darker shade. I'm gonna come and do the same thing on my forehead. And again, I'm just going with tapping motion I'm not rubbing it because I don't want to disturb the foundation underneath. Now I'm going to add my liquid blush from Rare Beauty. So the trick for a complexion that is long lasting, sweat proof, that is not going to wear, you need to use equally cream product or liquid product and then powder uh, on top of it. So I'm going to use this is from Rare Beauty and it's shade Bliss. I don't want to add too much. It's really just to have my blush under. And if you know the Rare Beauty product, they are highly pigmented. So you really do not need much. You saw I just had a small dot. And it does cover pretty much all my cheek. <laughs> because anyway, I will be adding some powder blush on top. That's all my cream product applied. So now I am coming and this is the secret. This is a crucial step not to be skipped. I'm using um, the setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. This is my favorite one. Um, so I applied on top of my cream product before the powder. Put my hair away. So I have applied a few good pumps. I'm going to let it dry completely before I do anything else. Because I want to have a flawless complexion, I'm coming back with my beauty blender and just making sure I am pressing my foundation just all over the edge, forehead like this, this way. There won't be any line in between where I have the bronzer, the concealer. It's all one nice complexion. So if I come closer, you can't see exactly where it starts or finish, but it's looking quite natural and you see all the different shades um, that just give a really nice look to your face. I'm quite happy with how the complexion is looking. Um, I like it's matte, it's glowy, there's no lines. So now it's time to powder. So I'm coming with, for my under eyes, I'm using the Laura Mercier. This is the secret brightening powder for under eyes and shade one. So making sure there are no lines on the concealer under my eyes and then I'm coming with my powder puff and really applying the under eye powder from Laura Merci. Same thing on the other side. I always apply the powder on the back of my hand, press it on the powder puff because I don't want to have too much under my eyes. Otherwise, it, it will be creasing. For the other areas on my face, I'm using the new Vanish powder from Hourglass. I am obsessed with this powder. It just gives the most beautiful finish. It's long wear, it's mattifying, it's beautifying. So I'm using my powder puff and I am using shade Translucent Medium. And I'm just gonna come on the lower part of my face where I don't have the blush and the bronzer. Same on the forehead. 
for the bronzer because I want so this is the whole idea is to have something that is going to last super long so I'm going to use this bronzer from YSL All Hours Hyper Bronze in shade 02. So with my flat brush, I'm coming and press it onto the palette and really just pressing where I have, I've put my cream bronzer from Chanel. I'm coming, oops, all over on the cheeks here, but a bit lower because I'm using it not quite as a contour, but sort of. That makes any sense look how luminous the complexion is but it's matte it's not dewy at all and it's blurring we don't see the pores it's gorgeous looking and because it's summertime i am using this blush from shante kai this is wild meadows blush look how pretty this is it's a soft pop of pink I'm just gonna add right here on the apple of the cheek not much and I am just pressing it to give more of a flush of color rather than a big 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 chunk of blush and I'm coming quite high even on the side And I like this blush because it's got a lot of reflection. So if I look like this, turn my head, you see the reflection on the blush. For my eyes, I couldn't resist but use the new palette from Natasha Denona, the golden palette. I'm going to use a matte shade as a base. Um, let's go with the shade Flesh right down here. So it's quite pale, it's quite light color. I'm, I'm going to use all over my eyelid just like so it's like that's going to be my base color and i'm gonna keep things quite easy for today how beautiful it's close well it's flesh so it's quite close to your skin color it just add that really nice shade Kind of a peachy color. I think colors, shades like this on blue eyes is really, really nice. With the same shade, same brush, I'm coming under my eyelashes at the bottom just to add a little bit of color. Not too much, just a little bit. Makes a whole world of difference. And Whenever you add powder under your eyes, it's gonna make a difference for your mascara. <clears throat> Sorry. It's gonna make a difference for your mascara, your eyeliner, if you wear any. It's gonna stop the smudge, basically. It's not gonna run anywhere. And I'm going to add a little bit of sparkles. I'm gonna use this shade here. It's like a proper golden shade. It's called Orum. I'm gonna use my finger because it's quite creamy. See how gold and pretty this is. And I'm coming just down here and pressing it onto the skin. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Just the same thing on the other eye on the mobile lid, pressing it onto it, onto the mobile lid. I completed the, the eye look. If you have a very oily skin or eyelids, I would highly recommend that you use an eyeshadow primer. Um, and that's why I've layered my two eyeshadow powder. I have used a matte one and then some chrome uh, metallic eyeshadow on top of it. So this is not going to move. I have used a waterproof long wear brown eyeliner from L'Oréal Paris and my mascara. So my eyes are not necessarily super wet or watery, so I don't need to use a waterproof mascara, but depending on your case, you might want to have 
uh, to use a waterproof mascara. And because I have powder under my eyes, it's not going to run. Now, for the lips, I'm going to use my House Lab lip liner. So this is shade Peach Matte. So it's going to go with um, the eyeshadow. So it's so light and soft on the skin, on the lips. I really like her lip liner. Just like this. It's a gorgeous shade. So I've covered all of my lips. It's matte. It's not going to move. It's a long lasting lip liner. Um, it's peach matte, um, Le Monster lip crayon. I really, really like these. I have two other shades. Um, they're just really long lasting and really nice on the skin. And I wanna add just a little bit of gloss. So I'm coming with my long comb. This is an OG <laughs> for the lips. This is the Juicy Tubes original and it's shade Miracle. And literally just adding a little bit. Just like so. And I don't apply directly on the tube because I don't like to have, it's don't like to transfer my lip liner directly on the tube, if that makes any sense. It just looks dirty and yeah, I just don't like it. <laughs> so that is it. That's your sweat proof makeup. So what you need to remember basically is stay away. So to start with, not too much skincare because it's not going to be staying the whole day or it's going to sweat so you limit yourself to your moisturizer and sunscreen then apply a matte luminous foundation i would say stay away from the super dewy and creamy foundation that are super heavy you need something that is matte and quite light um you use all of your cream and liquid product first then you use your setting spray then all the powders, don't be scared, just use all the powder all over. Um, just like what I did, you don't necessarily have to use the same product, you use whatever you have at home. There's so many equivalent anyway nowadays. For your eyes, eyeshadow primer is, I would say it's probably recommended. I've used mine, it's the Urban Decay, because I really, really like it. Um, layer your eyeshadow start with a matte one as your base and then add some onto it um i have my waterproof eyeliner mascara mine is not waterproof but that depends it's if you have watery eyes go for a waterproof mascara um and lips well because i've used my lip liner all over it's not going to move it's a matte one and all i have to reapply during the day is my lip gloss and yeah that is it for today's look i'm um, let me know down below in the comments let me know what you think is it something that you guys do at home trust me this is not going to move i've spent 10 years in dubai i know what i'm saying it's sweat proof it's not going to move for the whole day and the whole evening um so if you do try this sort of makeup let me know down in the comments what you think if it worked on you and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do so and i will see you next time thank you so much for watching